top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Jack Septiguy, and welcome back to the end, hopefully, of Cry of Fear. Like I said before, I got stuck completely. I couldn't finish the game at all because my supplies were extremely low and I didn't know what to do about it. But some kind user on YouTube, I will not name names because that's not how I roll, like I said before. But you know who you are and thank you so much. You gave me a save game file. You played some of the game, and now I am back in Simon's house. I have a revolver with 30 bullets, or 30, I don't know what way that works, 30 rounds of 6 bullets, or just 30 bullets, I don't know. And I also have 4 morphine, and I have a special item that I'm not going to show on screen just yet. But for some reason, when I loaded up to save, the screen is all green. And... I didn't change anything in my options or anything like that. The screen is just green. So I don't really care about that. I'm just going to go ahead and play the damn game. Doesn't bother me that much. From what I know, it's the exact same. He played the game the exact same way that I played it. He got shot in the shoulder by the doctor. I don't know if he defeated the carcass boss or not. I assume this scene means it's the same thing. This time he shoots himself in the head. Yeah, and he does it very quickly. Everything's green. I'm not sure what to do about it. Okay, we we'll come here. We'll save. At least I kind of know what to do now to get to the boss fight. So I'm probably just going to cut out all this stuff because I have to do a lot of platforming again. Okay, I'm back at the boss. At the room. Here goes, guys. I might actually finish the game this time. Everything was the exact same from before. I had to do that awful book jumping puzzle again. <laughs> it really pissed me off. I died like seven times, but it's okay. I'm happy now that I'm here with a lot more bullets. Not happy that it's green, though. I don't know how to fix that. And as you can tell, I'm still sick. I'm sorry my voice sounds weird. But I'm getting better. Do not underestimate the power of lemons when you are, when you have a cold. Just drink lemons in hot water all the time. Or honey. It's good for sore throat. Hello, Simon in a wheelchair. <laughs> How much do you want to bet I'm going to die again anyway? Ah! I don't know if you can actually dodge those boards by like jumping over them or crouching under them or anything like that, but I've tried that a lot and it doesn't seem to work. I don't know how strong the revolver is, I've never had it in the game. Oh god! It's very powerful! Oh, no more bullets. Okay. <laughs> Get away from me, you bitch! Go away! Stop! This thing is a fucking beast! Inventory full, of course it is. I'm gonna drop Simon's book. That's the item that I didn't want to show you guys, but I guess you kind of saw it now. But I'm not gonna use it. It seems to be an unlockable weapon, like a powered up weapon. Yeah! There's shit everywhere that's gonna kill me! And I'm gonna equip a morphine because I'm gonna be low on health by the time the enemies show up. But I suck at dodging these things. I don't even know if you can dodge them. No, you can. Never mind then. Here we go. Gun, Simon, gun! Okay, we're doing good. We're doing very good. We're gonna kick your ass, my man. My friends. You want to play circle, circle the bodies? Ah! God, my aim is all over the place. Okay, dudes, we're doing it. I've never been so happy in my entire life. I have. I'm lying. Oh, should I reload? I know I'm losing a bullet, but I don't want to have to reload when there's a bunch of guys around. Also, I got my microphone stand, so it's not, like, up in my face anymore. 
and hopefully the audio quality sounds a bit better too. I'm just gonna equip another thing because I don't trust myself to dodge shit. There we go. Reload! Oh man, I love the revolver. I can't believe I didn't have it before. Shit, I'm running out of bullets. I, I ought to be careful. God. Where is that valve? Okay. I, I, I'm nervous. Okay, I'm just gonna reload again. It's only one more wave anyway. From what I think, God, I only have 11 bullets left. Now is not the time to fuck up. I know I'm very bad at this game, aren't I? Sorry, but I don't really care. Jack up! Last wave! Take out your gun, Simon, take out your gun! The key to hitting enemies is to take your damn time. Line up your shots properly, not like that. Don't run out of the way. Don't move and shoot. Okay, is that it? Where's the valve? Where's the valve? Are you serious? There's no valve! Oh, there is. Thank God. I just went around everywhere clicky E. It's kind of hard to see everything, something when the screen's all green. I don't know why that happened. I'm sorry. It looks really bad for the video, but I can't fix it. Do I have to fight you now? Why are you punching yourself in the head? What's happening? Kill yourself! What the fuck? This is weird! This is ho oddly unsettling! Oh, my health is going down as his health goes down.
how they were laughing at me behind their masks when I wasn't looking. Laughing at me, my legs, thinking that they are so good, that they're better than me, pretending that they care about me. It's all bullshit! The pills showed me the truth today. They always did. They opened my eyes. They gave me wisdom. And I acted upon it. So, I had to kill Sophie and my doctor. My mentor. My counselor. <laughs> down with me. They're not laughing anymore. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have taken everybody with me. But unfortunately, my situation makes that impossible. To whoever is reading this, I hope my dead body will haunt you forever. Have fun scraping my brains off the wall. Fuck you. Holy shit. What the fuck? Okay, trying to get my head around this. <clears throat> so, at the start, it showed Simon and he got hit by a car. So I'm assuming that the car paralyzed him and he kind of went a bit nuts. He kind of got very, very, very sad and depressed about everything. And his doctor tried to help him through it. His counselor, Sophie, I think she was the counselor or mentor. I, I kind of got confused on that part, which was which. But they tried to help him and he didn't want it. And he kind of got very sad about everything. So the doctor encouraged him to write, and what we saw in the game was what happened in his book, what he wrote about. And that's kind of messed up. So he wanted to kill everybody because he was depressed, but he couldn't because he was in the wheelchair, which limited him, so he ended up killing Sophie, and he ended up killing the doctor. Then he killed himself. That's really fucked up. The story is actually really good. And the gameplay actually shows a lot of what's happening in the story through gameplay. Which is kinda hard to say properly, but you know what I mean. Like that's that's clever. Okay, overall, I really like the game. Some parts really tested my patience. Like really fucking tested my patience. And Honestly, I don't think they should have been in the game at all. I have huge respect to the people who made the game, and thank you for making the game free. It's not easy to put so much effort, and a lot of effort, went into this game. It's not easy to put a lot of effort into a game like this, and still keep it free for people. And I know Steam kind of messed up, and they wanted you to make people pay for it, and I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad... I still would have paid for the game, but I'm glad more people get to play it now that it was free. And I really respect you guys for that, and I respect a lot of the stuff that you did in the game. It was really impressive. The start of the game, start, it was it started out really strong, it started out really powerful, and I thought it was going to be an awesome game throughout, but some aspects I think you guys should have left out, like all the puzzles with jumping and all the maze stuff and all that kind of all that kind of crap should have been left out of the game. It should have been strictly horror. Like escaping the train, trying to jump puzzle your way out of that, the jump puzzle of trying to get through the books near the end and all the weird twisted levels. Actually, the twisted levels were okay, that was good. I like that, it kind of reflected the state of mind. Uh, what was it they say? Pathetic fallacy, but that's more got to do with weather, but the levels were kind of reflecting Simon's mind at the time and I, I like that. So I, I don't really blame you for keeping the puzzles in that, the jumping around, but some of the stuff just really, really annoyed me. I know I missed a lot of stuff in the game, like a lot of syringes I missed, a lot of save points I missed, a lot of guns I missed, and 
Some of that is down to me, but some of it is down to you guys as well. You shouldn't keep things in such obscure ways. Especially when it limits you and stops you from progressing through the rest of the game. Like, I got to the end of the game, and because stuff was laid out badly throughout the game, I couldn't finish it. So, that kind of game design is a bit off. It's not bad, but it's a bit off. It should have been handled, it should have been balanced out a bit more. But a lot of that is down to me for not finding the stuff too. But I think you know where I'm coming from. I got a B, but that's not my B, because that's the guy who played the game and gave me his save, so I want to thank you again a lot. I will send you a message on YouTube right after recording this, right now, because you really helped me finish the game and you helped me get the end of the game out there for everybody to see, and now my playthrough is complete! It's fully done! And I want to thank any of you guys who watched the entire thing. It was a long journey, but I kept it under 30 parts, which I think is good. Anything that goes over 30 parts in a game that's not like an RPG or an open world game, it's pretty good. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. And I don't know what I'm going on to next. I want to start SCP Containment Breach, but that game does not agree with me. Every time I try and play it, every time I try and load the game, it just freezes and breaks. But I'll try and get that up and running. And if you guys have any more games that you want me to play, any more horror games, anything at all, leave me a suggestion. I will gladly take it up and try and play through it. Either leave a suggestion in my PM box in YouTube, in the comments of this video, or anywhere you can find me. I have a YouTube page, or a Facebook page now, and Twitter, so go check them out. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Jesus Christ! Oh! Fuck! Oh! Okay! Let's wipe that! Let's wipe it!